Hey there, your friendly neighborhood voice of reason showing you a couple of the coolest new gadgets that I've seen in a really long time. These are both uh, laser Pico projectors, uh, just came out fairly recently. Um, the interesting thing about them is that uh, they use solid state lasers so they're always in focus, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, you can see the uh, relative sizes. Um, Sony's just a teeny bit wider. This is a Cellulon Pico Pro. Uh, and uh, I'd say just a little bit thinner for the Sony. And here's my Samsung S5 um, in a, some kind of silicon protective case. Really similar size device. Um, can easily cover this up with my hand. Um, just to give you a reference for size. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Pico Pro and see what we can see. Oh, I wanted to mention this is uh, these projectors both have uh, little one watt speakers in them so they're similar to a small uh, cell phone speaker. This is a JBL Micro 2. Um, I happen to like this one. It's an older version. Uh, it's got just a very simple dial uh, volume and it has a really convenient built-in one foot attached cable so you don't have to worry about losing losing a cable having a separate cable so I just thought I'd show that uh, so uh, let's go ahead and fire it up Okay, so here is Pico Pro splash screen. Fireworks, if you like them. If you don't, you're not going to see it for long anyway. So I'm just going to show you my phone here. I'm going to press. <clears throat> this screen mirroring button here which is already uh, on the phone there's no downloading of any app or anything and I can see the countdown happening at the top right on the Pico Pro and boom there's my phone size wise um, here is my my hand so that's the size of the display on my phone and We've gotten a f huge advantage here with some technology that's connected wirelessly. It's very easy to use um, format. That's about a 55 inch image. I'll give you the reference size again. There's my hand. Um, on San Francisco Bay. On um, a pretty choppy day. And you'll see Golden Gate Bridge is off to the right. You may not be able to see it on the video, but I can see it fine right now. Um, and there's San Francisco. Beautiful little sailing experience. Always in focus, no matter how far away you are. You can even shine it up in the corner of a room and it will display on the different surfaces perfectly in focus which is amazing if you've ever had a projector before that you had to constantly play with the focus wheel to try to get a clear image just great technology uh, the one on the left is the Pico Pro uh, the one on the right is the Sony MP CL1 um, the Pico Pro is currently connected to my phone uh, I wanted to show a little bit about what it can do if I can get this to work here. Okay, you're going to see some vertical scan lines on the recording only. Uh, they do not exist in real life. I'm um, looking at the image and uh, it is quite clear. So here's my phone. And I just want to show you that I can select a picture. And when I rotate my phone, here we have a nice image. Uh, displayed. You can 
share my gallery. This is actually a grid that I've set up. You might be able to see the lines. Um, so this is exactly nine times the size of my display on my phone. Uh, I'm just using um, a piece of paper on the wall, but you can use a white wall or any other light uh, color surface. Uh, turn my phone back on. So I wanted to show you that you can use the features of your phone to zoom and pan I can find some birds in my picture that show up on my video projected uh, image you can see the difference there and I can pan and go back to size so all of the great features that are available with the new smartphones um, are available projected as well very neat so again this is a laser pico projector it's always in focus as the bigger image uh, just as an interesting experiment I'm gonna pull this table out uh, and allow you to see the zoom or excuse me the always in focus aspect of the projectors see the grid or not. I'll move the PCL one out of the way here. This is always in focus no matter how far away you are. Um, so that's probably about a 50 inch image. Very cool. So we have a vibrant picture here. Incredible colors. Um, all the ability to pan, zoom, scroll that you have with your smartphone uh, in one little teeny tiny package. And there's the Pico Pro. Uh, next to my Samsung S5 and its little thin silicone rubber protective case. And over here, we have the MPCL1. Some pretty cool features. Just wanted to show you. Uh, if you want to use a projector in a particular location, sometimes the image gets skewed. Uh, so you need to use a keystone correction. And here we go. This is beautiful ability to have the projector located someplace a little bit more odd uh, or off angle or off height and still be able to square the image. Back to my keystone and go back to zero. And of course I can re-square the projector and there's lots of ways to square the image but if you're stuck in a particular location uh, then you really have to have the ability to use keystone uh, I say it's stuck in a particular location to project from so again here's my little grid here show this uh, I guess we can see that is a piece of paper that is exactly 15.4 inches diagonal. That's the size of my cell phone display. So there are nine of these. That's just an example. You can blow this up to 80 or 100 inches in the dark. Looks fantastic. Anyway, 
these two laser projectors are a couple of the coolest things that have come along in a long time. Highly recommend, especially if you're going to do uh, mirror cast. I recommend the Pico Pro. Its ease of use for wireless connecting is absolutely awesome. Makes it a lot easier. And the Sony, of course, if you have the Keystone correction, it's a little bit thinner of a package, just a teeny bit. Um, it's a little bit wider. Not much. See that there. But a little bit thinner. And again, it does have a much better menu. Um, has uh, different video adjustments that you can make that the Cellulon doesn't have. Uh, but for quick demos and being able to pair quickly with your smartphone and use for a variety of reasons, the Cellulon is, uh, is my pick. Um, the Sony is a little bit heavier, uh, so people have had some issues with uh, flexible stands. Uh, the Pico Pro is a little bit lighter. Uh, that probably won't affect most people, but for some it's an issue. Also, the Pico Pro comes with uh, a uh, 2 amp, 5 volt power cord. The Sony does not, uh, so you'll have to get yourself one if you don't already have one. That said, the uh, Sony is a little easier to connect with HDMI. Uh, it's got an adapter you can use any that comes with it. Any uh, regular HDMI cable will do. This guy needs a micro HDMI um, to regular HDMI cable to be able to hook up to an HDMI device. But again, I find the majority of usefulness is really around hooking it up wirelessly and being able to have the convenience about 38 seconds uh, to have your cell phone image, your little tiny cell phone image, um, be displayed up to 100 inches. I commonly use it at 60 uh, inches and the uh, image is just fantastic. The colors are vibrant. So check it out. Get yourself one of these projectors. I highly recommend the Pico Pro for the Galaxy phones and for uh, people who are going to do primarily mirror cast connection. Uh, I think it's a little easier. There's less steps involved than the Sony. The Sony has keystone correction which is really nice if you want to set it up in a particular location uh, gives you some adjustability and uh, is a great advantage there so read up on them and uh, get yourself one of these projectors they are amazing voice of reason signing out